Hey guys, it's Tommy CM here. Welcome back to episode 6 of Fun Fair Frenzy um, on this Let's Play Planet Coaster series. Starting off this episode by uh, just adding a bit of lighting to the uh, to the Skyline um, ride, the uh, cable cars that we put in in the last episode. Just wanted to put some uh, just some lamps on these posts just so that um, as you look at the ride in general it's not kind of floating around in, in the darkness really. Um, so uh, yeah, as you can see looking down there um, and I've also put these uh, these flashing lights around the edge of the Dodgem's queue line there. I think that really has a good effect. Um, at the at the main entrance, just near the just near the Ferris wheel, I wanted to kind of fill up this little square slash circle <laughs> circle space that I had. So I thought having um, having these little bandstands um, put in there either side and just having a bit of decoration there. Nothing particular going off with them, um, but just having a bit of bit of decoration in terms of trees and planting. Just kind of added to the uh, added to the the vintage feel for the park. So I, I did want a few of these trees around there, not enough to cover the the view obviously of the grandstand, but enough to surround it. Um, and like, as I say, add add a bit of planting, add a bit of decoration, um, and then on the queue line, obviously the queue line around the bandstand is a little bit thinner. It's not as it's not as wide as the main pathway. So uh, I decided to put these little uh, arched hedges um, over there. Now for the rest, for the rest of the area around here, um, I'm just putting in these sort of. Uh, I mean, it's called a, a scavola, um, which is just like a general general bush um, around here. And although it doesn't look like the most exciting planting, um, once it's one of those things that the more you put in it. The better it seems to look, or, or it does in my opinion anyway. You, you might, you might think it doesn't look that good, so, and you know if you do, then please, please let me know. But from uh, from from my opinion, it, uh, it it does actually fit this area quite well, just to be uh, just be sat around here, and it, it just makes it look a little bit better than just having plain plain grass as the uh, as the base around there. Now, once we've um, once we finish this bit, um, I'm just installing two little fountains here. Uh, again, just to add a bit of colour and a bit of decoration to the areas. Once we finish this bit, we'll be uh, moving on to build our second coaster in the park, which is a classic wooden mouse. Um, obviously, in modern days, we've got the spinning wild mouse cars, uh, but this, uh, the coaster that I'm building here is the original um, wooden mouse style coaster. Now these were very, very rickety, very rough, um, but a lot of fun. Um, I've only ever been on one of these, and that was the one that used to be at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, if anyone's had the opportunity to be on that one. Um, very, very rough ride. It throws you around the corners, but it was a heck of a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, Blackpool did get rid of their wooden mouse coaster um, before uh, they put in Icon, which opened up uh, a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, in general, the, these coasters were, you know, they're all about sharp turns. They're all about getting speed, lots of dips. Um, so yeah, I definitely wanted one of these coasters going into this uh, classical style park. And uh, I was, it's it's a very hard balance to try and make sure you get you get the you know a good amount of speed going, but not too much that it feels like it's a runaway car because they're very hard uh, rides, especially going around the corners. You you really don't want them going too quickly. Um, because it will get sort of too rough at that stage. So trying to get the balance of uh, of speed um, and sort of, you know and steady in the car is is a you know is a difficult task. But um, yeah, I was trying to keep it all within the same sort of uh, square footprint, um, which is what I've pretty much achieved here. Um, I'm just kind of weaving in and out just to add a few more elements and getting it over, going over the path here. So. Um, and I, I did notice there that the cars didn't quite make it over, over the uh, over the little dip there at the back. So uh, I decided to change that and just have a big dip around there, and uh, and keep it tucked in. So it, you know it's all about playing playing about with the uh, with the layout. You're never going to build the perfect coaster straight away. You're always going to have to tweak little bits to get it to get it right. But I am pleased with this. I mean, you, you, it's it's a hard coaster to see, but that is the point of it. The these classical rides had huge wooden structures. Um, and you know that they, they weren't necessarily there to look the business it was more about the experience itself so uh, yeah I was just kind of fast forwarding it here just to make sure that the cars did make it all the way around onto the brake system um, they didn't slow down enough um, enough for my liking here uh, obviously I'm, I've sped it up 
to, to show you guys here. This is at like three times three and a half speed. Um, but the braking system wasn't quite working. And on the second one, after I'd altered a few of the speed settings on the brakes, um, everything seemed to work just fine. So once I'd done this, it was just time to build a queue line. Uh, pretty much, a, pretty much a similar theme going on with a lot of the queues in this park. Um, they're very sort of square and uh, you know, and kind of back and forth, um, as, as I like to call them, uh, cattle pens. Um, you know, it, it feels like you sort of wedged in and forever queuing around the, queuing in the same area and going back and forth, back and forth. But again, it's a classical style queue line. Um, on modern day rides, you, uh, you know, a lot of queue lines tell a story. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a classical style queue line, and that's what I'm going for. Decided to uh, build a sign uh, well, out of the lighting, um, and I wanted to have this suspended onto the side of the track, so that when you, um, you know, when you're walking in at a distance, you can kind of see, you can kind of see this uh, suspended in in the distance, and you know, and hopefully it'll, uh, you know, it, it will look good, uh, especially at night time as well when the, when the lighting's lit up. Um, I've got I've done it in blue to just contrast with the with the colours of the ride. Um, obviously the colours you've got the brown wooden supports there, but uh, I just wanted it I wanted it in blue to, so it could stand out and that's that's what it looks like at night time. Again, um, I will be going around in one you know towards the end and adding all the lighting in for the rest of the park just to help make the whole thing look good at night time. But as I said, I just want to get that sign in for now. Um, decided to just have a bit of a uh, bit of a pool of water here. Just, no, no particular reason. Nothing really interacting with it. I just wanted it as a bit of decoration, but just to break up the uh, break up the land. It's not. It's not a park I'm going to be messing about with the terrain too much on, because it's you know as I say these these sort of vintage fairground rides are all based on a lot of sort of flat, um, flat sort of you know ground really. They're, they're not based in hills or, or rocky areas. But what I did want to do was put in a few pools of water. I may adjust the terrain slightly in some areas, but I won't be doing it massively like I have done in uh, in previous series. Um, you know, to, to add with the theming, um, just because I'm trying to keep it as uh, as authentic to the original idea as possible. So uh, yeah, and then once once I've done this, obviously I started going on to building the station. Um, nothing too nothing too crazy with the station theming wanted uh, again keeping it nice and simple I just wanted a wooden uh, a wooden kind of box really um, with a bit of lighting inside just as the you know ju just as the station for this for this coaster just, because it's a wooden coaster I wanted to stick with the wooden style theming um, this isn't this isn't going to be the last coaster in this park I do want to build one potentially two more um, but again I'm, I'm trying to keep the theme uh, the, the theme of the classic fun fear going on um throughout and i think i think that's you know that, that's what i've managed to do here i put the uh, i put the sh kind of shop front um walls in because i felt like having a having a bit of a window inside looked better than just having it boxed in so uh, yeah i think being able to see that from the outside looks quite good so uh, yeah that's what i've gone for there once i've got the lighting in here it was just a case of putting in the putting in the roof to close everywhere off Noticed on this side the wall was hanging off a little bit, so I just had to move these pieces back a little bit just to uh, make it a nice, uh, nice smooth box. This wooden archway for some reason won't wouldn't sit um, directly onto the station, so I just had to fit everything in there. Um, and yeah, I'm quite pleased with uh, quite pleased with how that all seems to uh, you know seems seems to have turned out really. That station, uh, I just need to hide hide away the supports at the bottom there uh, because. Uh, Although it's um, you know, although it's not detrimental, um, I just think having the whole thing fully themed does uh, does add more to uh, you know to, to the to the whole project really. So uh, yeah, that was the uh, that was that done. So now it's time for an on ride um, on ride experience of it. So here we go.
And there we go. That is the uh, that is the wooden mouse coaster. Uh, as I say, it is designed to be a bit of a rough and ready coaster. I didn't want it to be too fast. Didn't want it to be too slow. Um, but yeah, that's what it is designed to do. And uh, yeah, that is uh, that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.